this is Kat with Kentucky Reptile Zoo and in today's video we're showing extractions from jumping vipers, Metlapalcoatlus mexicanus. There are several species of jumping vipers. They are found in Mexico and in Central America, but ours is the mexicanus species. So these, the first few that we're doing are a uh, Smaller males, they were born in 2019. And jumping vipers are called this because of a myth that they can jump. As you might notice, these are small, stouter bodied snakes. They are ground dwelling pit vipers who ambush from the forest floor. So their bodies are really built to sit in a nice little coil and camouflage there. So when they strike, they can strike with surprising speed. You see how they're coiled up really tightly. That's how they sit most often. And then when Jim pins them, they react pretty quickly. That one reacted by winding its body up the pin stick. <laughs> So when they're striking defensively from that posture, it can look a bit like a jump because they can strike farther than you would expect from their body size and, and shape, but they can't actually jump. They can't get air. They might scoot forward a bit from the force of their strike, but it, it's not a jump in the way that a human jumps. <laughs> They can also strike outward from their coil in sort of a spring-like motion in which they strike their head out, but they fling their tail out too. So you can see they can kind of flail it out. So they can also do this really interesting move where they unfurl very quickly and then recoil back together. So that also is a jumping style motion, but uh, they aren't fit for things like playing basketball. So these males, since they're still smaller, they live in the tanks. But the last one that we're doing is the female that's on display. She is a much older individual and therefore much larger. The Jim's going to get the decorations out of the way so that he can hook her through and she won't wrap her body on any of that. He also pointed out to us that she looked gravid. So they're a rounder snake to begin with, but her body, especially towards the end, you can see how her tail really tapers down. She's really big and round towards that back end. That is a good indication that she might be ovulating, holding infertile eggs, or she's developing actual babies. She has been paired with one of the males. So it's completely reasonable that she could be carrying right now, which is very exciting. We also haven't extracted from her in a long time, so you can see the venom here on her is not as clear yellow. It's a cloudier yellow. It's just a higher concentration of proteins in the venom. It doesn't mean anything for her health or anything like that. It's just... Venom's a bit cloudier right now. We haven't been extracting from her because she was the only one until the males arrived. So we hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Bye!